everybody. Welcome in to our next edition of the Rico White Show, filmed on location here at Kia of Anniston, Oxford. And we'd like to thank those guys for their sponsorship as always. Those guys do a whole lot for schools and players and communities all around Northeast Alabama and over into Birmingham now with our partnership with River Chase Kia, uh, who's uh, sponsoring our Road to the Blue Map Central Alabama edition. The coach uh, coming off another big victory last week, 49-13 over another inner county school that you guys were familiar with, White Plains. Uh, seemed like you had it clicking on offense and defense last week, Coach. Take us back to last Friday night and that football game. Well, you know, i tell you what, first I just want to say, man, I want to thank the good Lord for just keeping us healthy and, and being focused and just just coming into that game with the right mindset. Um, i tell you what, we didn't play a perfect game, but we played very well in spots. So we're going to try to connect the dots with all that and play even better this coming up week, which we got to. But I tell you what, Coach Tyree and um, his coaching staff, they're doing a great job at White Plain. You know, it you, you takes time to really build a program, but if you pay attention to what they're doing, they're doing an excellent job. Yeah, Coach Tyree, I like that guy because he, he's a no-nonsense guy and he's always positive and uh, yes. nothing ever gets better by being negative and he's one of the most positive coaches I've ever been around. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, we got towards the end of the game and um, we put some substitute in, and they scored. And then I was thinking they tried to, they onside it or something. But he said that was their goal, not to kick it deep. So I told my guys, starters, go back out there. You know? <laughs> but um, Coach Tyree and we were friends, you know, like I told him. I told him, I said, I'm gonna apologize if I'm wrong. But you know, he's a, he's a good guy. Yeah. His father's a great guy. Those are great people. And um, you can't beat that character they have and who they are. So, you know, Coach Tyree, he's my guy. Coach, uh, here's a big question I got. You have a defending 3A state champion uh, right on the horizon right here on Thursday, Piedmont. You know, everybody knows their accolades and you know what they've done, Coach Smith, and how good they are. But you got them on a short week. That's got to be challenging from the staff. And what is this week going to look like that's different than most weeks? Because now not only are you playing on Thursday, but you're playing a, you know, one of the best football teams in North Alabama. <laughs> well, first of all, you know, I, I, let me say this. Piedmont is an excellent team, but we're a good team also, you know, and we, 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 we've been looking forward to this matchup and this challenge. And uh, the things we had to do different this week is we had to treat Sunday like Monday. Gotcha. You know, had to move the days up and play a, a practice a day ahead. So the workouts and everything. So uh, we just one day ahead and um, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's it's to the mindset. It's all about the mindset, and we have our kids in the right mind frame. We'll be great. And coach, you guys are no familiar to. I mean, you guys are no stranger to big road games as well. How do you prepare that? Because last year, you know, you guys went and played Hanley at Hanley and won the football game, for an example. Yes. Uh, is there anything you do specific to handle crowd noise, or you know, what you're going to face in, a, in an environment such as that? Well, I think. It, it, not only do it, does it start with me, it start like in, in the classroom, you know, just the teachers training the kids the right way. We training the kids the right way. We teaching them about outside the box of Aniston. So it, it just add on and, you know, you, you build a great uh, mindset as far as how to handle adversity, how to handle different environments and cultures. So our kids are taking in their sponges right now and they, everything we teaching them as a whole, is, it, it works. That's good. And uh, you, you also coming into this season are having to face another challenge, and that is you guys are the hunted, and now you're still undefeated, Coach. Uh, <laughs> that's another challenge when you get guys. Sometimes it's harder for guys to, to take some of the coaching when they're undefeated. They may be like, ah, Coach, what are you talking about? We're winning, you know. <laughs> but actually, you know, that's, well, that's when you, you let your guard down and you can lose one of these games. But talk about that challenge and how you guys handle that one as well. Well, it's, it's part of being humil uh, humble. You know, we teach our kids to have humility. The, climb, the higher you climb up on the ladder, the more humi hum humility you should have. That's right. You know, people can see you much higher, see you better when you're up there. That's they true. can see your mistakes. So um, our kids just stay humble. They listen. They, Like I said, they sponges right now. And um, we want them to teach them to be the best version that they can be of what we want to represent this program to be. Before we dive into what Piedmont looks like on film, let's go back and break down last week's film. What were some of the good takeaways you've seen from that game, that White Plains game, some stuff you really liked? Well, the energy. The energy and the mindset are, are just disciplined and focused on what we had to get done. Um, I, from the out the bat, we came out to play and uh, we got things going and made some great plays and 
being able to sustain drives, you know, drive all the way down the field and score more so just a big explosive play. Uh, but our kids, they they play well. They cut down on some of the penalties, even though they made some penalties. But they, they cut down on a lot of the mistakes we made earlier in the year. So we improved. What's some of the things that you looked at and you say, hey, man, this is getting on my nerves. we got to get this fixed. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> this penalties. 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 You know, uh, just a lack of focus, lack of small discipline penalties. As far as, um, you know, someone break a run and get a blocking in the back or something. You know, th things that we're not thinking. So, um, they, they kids have corrected all those mistakes and we're getting better. Now, Coach, uh, now let's dive into this game coming up right here. I know you've gotten a breakdown film at this point of the end. What, what have you seen that's jumped out to you uh, on film about mm -hmm. Piedmont? Solid Coach Smith team. Piedmont is a solid program, solid team. Uh, I think they had one hiccup early in the year against Cherokee. But like I said, I think that was a one-score game, you know. But I tell you what, Coach Smith, they, they, he has a program that gets better every year as the season go. You know, when they first start out, you'd be like, that's Piedmont. But when you really watch and see what they're doing, you know, there's a good program. Yeah, he usually tightens it up. Yes. As the year goes on. Sometimes he, they take a loss and they come back a, wow, a lot of times. They yes. take a loss. And Usually, most of their state championship teams have been yeah. in and, lost teams. And we got a handful. I mean, you talking about a quarterback like they have, he's an amazing kid. I mean, super strong. And um, the offensive line, humongous. They they block well. The defense fly to the ball. They are they represent what a state championship team is all about. Sure. So, they've got a good state championship program. And uh, we looking to become one of the elite teams. So, we got a handful and we'll be ready. And coach, and you know, you guys have been rolling up to this point. Access this team at this point in the season, um, just in your words, like where this team is as where you wanted them to be. Well, I, I not only this year, I, I look at when we first came into this program. Gotcha. Um, the coaching staff and myself, we always was planning to be at this point. You know, um, you never know exactly what, where it's going to come in. A lot of people thought we had arrived that second year when we went to the semifinals. That's right. But we were still in the building process. So now I think we are where we want to be. My goal was to have like 20 seniors every year. And this year we have 20 seniors. And next year we should have 20. You know, it just go on and on. That's how you build a good program. So I think we are on course to what we're trying to accomplish. That makes that makes your coaching a little bit easier when you got coaches on the field. Yeah. You got 20 seniors, they got to be some leadership involved. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, you got a chance to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. I ain't no doubt about it. And, Coach, before we before we go, because I know you're a busy man, just give us some final thoughts on uh, this Thursday night and, uh, and and this big game coming up for you guys. Man, we ask our fans and everyone to come out to see a great game, you know, with two great teams. Uh, Coach Smith will have his guys ready and – we definitely going to have the Anderson Bulldogs ready. Um, we look forward to the challenge. Uh, like I said, the sky's the limit, and we look forward to it. Coach, I appreciate your time. Good luck, and uh, we'll see you guys Thursday. Some of our guys are going to be out that game to cover that game as well with you guys. Absolutely. Go dog. Thank you, Coach. Yeah.